subscribe the channel and press on the bell icon to get updated with Boba's Aviation. Hello everyone, this is Tebojit and welcome back to another episode of Boba's Aviation. First of all, I'd like to thank you for your awesome response in my previous video on Yuva Jet Airways. Stay tuned with my channel and I will come up with more such aviation contents, informations and stories. In today's video, I will discuss about the different types of dual purpose flight control surfaces. So most of my viewers who are not from the aviation field will think, Array, what is this control surfaces? So I will keep this video as simple, clear and interesting as possible. Firstly, I will discuss about the different types of flight control surfaces and after that I will tell you about the dual purpose flight control surfaces. Take your seat for landing. Thank you. Let's imagine that you are driving a car and you got a right turn in front of you. So what will you do? You will turn your steering to right and accordingly the car will also turn right. In the same way whenever the aircraft flies in air, it also needs to change its direction. So all these directions which are changed in the aircraft are done by the control surfaces. Not only directions but also the height or altitude of an aircraft are also changed by these control surfaces because in every phases of flight, the aircraft changes its altitude. So all these movements of the aircraft are done by the control surfaces, which are nothing but the movable parts which are attached to the aircraft, which moves up or down, turn left or right, to do the maneuver of the aircraft in the three-dimensional space. So based upon the importance level and work function, these control surfaces are mainly divided into two categories. First one is your primary control surfaces, which are the most important ones responsible for the aircraft maneuver. This mainly include three control surfaces, aileron, elevator and rudder. I am holding this RC aircraft model which I have made some days before. So this is the aileron which is connected at the back or in aviation term at the trailing edge of the wing. It gives the banking or the rolling movement of the aircraft. Its movement is such that if one goes up the other will automatically go down. These are the elevators attached at the trail of horizontal stabilizer. Every time the aircraft changes its height or altitude. All are because of these surfaces. If it goes up, it will down the aircraft tail, which will automatically up the aircraft nose. And the third control surface called the rudder, which are hinged at the trailing edge of the vertical stabilizer. The main purpose of the rudder is to change the heading, or in simpler to change the direction of the aircraft. After the primary control surfaces, there comes the secondary control surfaces, which helps in a more efficient performance of the aircraft. Flaps, taps, slats, spoilers, all this comes under secondary control surfaces. I have also made a live demonstration in a Cessna 152 aircraft. You can watch the video, I will put the link in the description of this video. So these primary and secondary control surfaces are called the conventional ones. Now manufacturers come up with a third type of control surfaces which are called as dual purpose flight control surfaces with a lot of advantages. The pilot don't need to control two different control surfaces, instead they can operate a single one and it will work as a combined to control two different control surfaces. Let me give you an example, like I have worked on Beach Bonanza A36 aircraft during my training days, which uses the simple conventional control surfaces. But the aircraft model Beach Bonanza A35 has a VTEL, where rudder vectors have been installed. These rudder vectors will perform the function of both rudders and elevators in a combined manner. Similarly, many fighter jets and the commercial passenger jet called Concorde, which have delta wing, that is the triangular wing configuration, do not use aileron and elevators separately. Instead, they use elevons which work combined for both ailerons and elevators. During my college days, I worked on a project to reconstruct the microlight Husky aircraft. Generally, the Cessna and other small aircraft uses flaps and ailerons separately. But in this aircraft, they don't have flaps and ailerons. Instead, they use flapperons, which is again a dual purpose flight control surfaces, works for both flaps and ailerons. So this was the video about the different types of control surfaces and the dual purpose flight control surfaces. I have tried to keep this video as simple, easy and interesting by giving examples especially for my friends who are not from the aviation field. So if you like this video then press the like button, share this video and do comment down below your opinions. Give your suggestions to help me grow my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe as this motivates me to come up with more such contents. To get aviation related facts and updates then please follow my Facebook and Instagram page. See you in another video of Bobas Aviation. Till then, bye-bye. Jai Hind.